Susan Atoll's bereaved relatives accused the Gulu resident state attorney Patrick Omea of attempting to defeat justice. What we understand is that the case is being reduced from murder to manslaughter. And we don't know how. The couple's nine-year-old daughter said her father returned from a beer party, drank some water from a pot, and spat it at them, telling them to witness how he would kill their mother. The girl says they saw their father hit their mother's head on the bed several times until she asked him to take her to hospital. A post-mortem report by the principal medical officer at Gulu Regional Referral Hospital, Dr. Onen Olwedo, indicates that the deceased suffered severe blunt force neck trauma. Atoll's father, George Okot, and her brother, Alex Obal, do not agree with the resident state attorney and have appealed to the Directorate of Public Prosecutions in Kampala to review the matter. How can be manslaughter when somebody is already dead? And the bad thing is, this was, I think they were already planned to kill my daughter. According to the Gulu Women Economic Development and Globalization Report of 2016, the rate of gender-based violence in northern Uganda is alarming. For many women in northern Uganda, violence and injustices has become a regular part of their life and to some extent normalized impunity. Aswa Region Police spokesperson Jimmy Patrick Okema has urged the stakeholders to push for justice. It should have been directly murder, murder and that could come in his defense, but he has not yet, the court has not given him opportunity to, to do that. The World Vision Program Manager in Gulu, Harriet Aloyo, has some words of caution. People should not just cohabit because it's a very big insecurity to the women that are being cohabited. It's a very big risk to the children and is a reason there is high level of broken relationship.